the only real threat at this point to the world, and, and I know this may seem you know laughable to some people, but the spiritual threat now resides in the Obama administration. The spiritual and the physical realities have now honed in and become prophetic, and they've dialed in Washington, D.C. as ground central, and Obama as the main enemy that must be defeated since he's already an enemy to America, an enemy of the state, and an enemy of um, uh, an Antichrist spirit at the same time. So I don't see any other real task for uh, a servant of the Most High God other than uh, the political task of making sure that he is uh, defeated in the election and that, um, you know, and praying that uh, the hand of God will restrain any use of martial law or war. But after this uh, NDAA thing got signed and after the, mar the uh, executive order declaring martial law and that he would commandeer all the energy, uh, even in peacetime in America, private and public, to use uh, for the effort of securing of, of, of uh, national, national security. Um, at this point, he set up dictatorial powers. So uh, there is nothing more dire than understanding that this person is uh, the enemy of a free people. And just like there's a group that want to defeat Castro, Castro a group that wants to defeat... Uh, uh, you know that wants to defeat um, that wants to defeat the Chinese dictatorship of communism. Uh, this communist threatened scourge, or if you like, physical Satanism, would take on the form of communism. There is nothing more important, and there's nothing really more. Um, there's nothing else. It's kind of like if you know there's a war, our lives are at stake. I'm going to sign up to fight, and in this case, it's a political fight. So. That's what I see. I don't see anything more important than defeating Obama and those like him, both in the Republican and Democrat Party, those who call themselves progressives but are really communist and New World Order people. Uh, there is no greater fight because you may not realize this, but if he is not defeated this time, your, your physical life is in danger and the lives of your children. I mean, that's how dire I believe it is. Uh, because... Um, Yes, war, martial law, uh, an invasion of our own, uh, 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 of our country based on the fact of, of his lowering our guard through executive orders, things like that, uh, trying to disarm the people, banning guns, banning any, uh, all our right to protect ourselves, increasing the tyranny. He is absolutely a monster and a criminal of mega proportions and not yet a mass murderer of his own people, but of course he gave Assad a break. You saw that here's a guy that killed Thousands and thousands of people in cold blood. Obama turns a blind eye. He could care less. Uh, yet he justifies Libya where Gaddafi killed a couple hundred people. And yet that somehow is very important. Hypocrite of mega proportion. Doing his own thing. How long does he get a pass? The other part of this spiritual war is those who support him are also our enemies. They're the enemy of freedom, the enemy of life itself. They don't know it. They're deceived. Sure. Um, I don't know what it will take to wake them up. It's not a conservative versus liberal argument. It's not Republican versus Democrat. This is a spiritual battle of that in the physical represents freedom versus slavery. It's just that simple. Life versus death. Um, life becoming very cheap and, 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 and uh, mass murder becoming very apparent genocide becoming a, an option. Uh, this has happened before throughout history. It, the, 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 uh, the, the elements are in place for it to happen again. When they say communists and they're for the workers and all that, they're not. What they want is to put everyone in a cage or in a lockup who thinks differently than them worldwide, confiscate all private property, and basically become dictators. That's no, that's, it's not even following the Communist Manifesto. True believers in the end, they just want to eliminate because they don't want to share anything. They want to confiscate all resources, use them for their elite selves, and put the rest in bondage. And that is not acceptable to me. The Lord told me, this is the battlefront to fight. 
And when people say, oh, that's political, I'm really more spiritual, that is a lie. Um, there is no higher spiritual calling than the defeat of this person, of this monster, this entity, whatever he is. Uh, and, um, you know, uh, the weapons of our war, information, documentaries, um, whatever, whatever can be contributed to the cause uh, for November. I wish we could find a smoking gun to get uh, this petulant man-child out of the uh, uh, public arena so he can do no more harm. I wish that, that we had laws here about the Constitution, about uh, citizens being able, eligible to run for president. I wish there were laws about um, forging uh, documents like birth certificates. People should be in jail for that. Apparently not. I'm watching this thing go right through my fingers, and I, and I guess what I'm trying to say is, this is what will have my focus. I don't know about you. Um, you want to do a spiritual war against the demons and the and the and the, <laughs> excuse me, the persecution. Mm. Mm. Ah. Must be something in the air there. Against the persecution and against things like that. And and I'm here to say that um, the persecution uh, is coming in the form of the government persecution against, of course, Christians and constitutionalists and Jews and whatever else. I mean, that is where the persecution is. That is the front lines of the spiritual war. It's Barack Hussein Obama and his re-election. But Romney, I don't care. Fine, fine. Put him in uh, anything at this point would be better. And... Um, I don't know what it takes to raise the awareness. The the, 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 the people on the quote left believe they're they're doing their left wing cause thing, their their bleeding heart liberal thing. They don't understand they've been duped by uh, dictatorial powers that don't want who will get rid of a lot of those celebrities. They don't understand, they don't get it. Lord forgive them for they know not what they do. There is no higher calling on this earth other than defeating this person and of course Communism, Marxism, wherever it resides, anywhere on the earth. That's all I can say. Um, I'm not going to repeat endless prophecies about World War and Albert Pike and everything else. It's going to be play out in the, the in the in the physical in the political arena. That's where the spiritual war is. That's where prayer warriors are meant to go. While you're praying, um, find a way to serve that. I've done a few podcasts that have that you have not heard and they have not come on because in a sense they've been repeats of what we've had prophetically speaking Obama may be the guy in the book of Daniel I mean you may sit around waiting to be picked up by the rapture of the end times uh, don't hold your breath I guarantee I, I guarantee it right now you're not going to get picked up by Jesus anytime soon you're going to go through this and and recognize that we all need to band together here to defeat an enemy that is looks benign now, but down the road, uh, if reelected, could amass tremendous powers to uh, the you know to to do harm and slave to 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 uh, to round up to incarcerate etc. So I would just urge you. I'm looking at this like we're in. Communist, in Russia just prior to the Bolshevik Revolution or were, were in Germany just prior to the, the rise of the Stasi and, uh, and Adolf Hitler. We're, we're in that period right now. And no one seems, you know, the, the celebrities just don't seem to see it. A guy like George Clooney, who had his bleeding heart for the people of the Sudan and trying to raise awareness, how can he miss it? How can Tom Hanks, who did all that work on World War II and, and uh, the sacrifice that... Uh, our elders made in that war um, to to produce freedom, so he didn't have a world run by run by Adolf Hitler. How can he not see the parallel? I don't think there's anything more important than the defeat in November of Barack uh, Obama. The the um, the cunning, I would say, because he's cunning like a fox. You know, he 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 uh, is inexperienced on the one hand, but he's been trained and groomed all his life by terrorists, by, by Bill Ayers, by uh, Bernadine Dorn, and all these people that are just literally anarchists and terrorists, 
and communist and Marxist. He's been raised from a child, from his father, uh, Barack Sr., who uh, uh, was an anti-colonialist. And, I mean, he's got everything that uh, he needs for the complete overthrow of everything. And see, they don't care about what's next. It's just overthrow this, meaning destroy you and your children. When I say destroy, I mean, you know, death or incarceration or and separation of you and your children. Uh, confiscation of your property, confiscation of uh, 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 private companies, private, confiscation of private lands, all under the all done under the under the, the, the shadow of law that it would be a, a lawful thing that we do. In other words, that you know it's a, it's a war effort or some something to make it legal. Um, yes, the judgment may be warranted, but God wants to see people fight for their freedom because freedom isn't just handed to you. Barack Obama represents slavery, not freedom. So I would urge you to, you know, to follow the lead of this prophetic statement. If you do nothing, then you will be seen as having done nothing when called by God for the noble fight of freedom and for God, because he's the one that wants to eradicate religion, Jesus, you know, those clinging to their guns and religion. Your guns represent your freedom. So freedom and your religion uh, have no place after a second term of Obama, because I don't think there would be a, a, an election after a second term of Obama just based on his ideology, his father's communism, Marxism, uh, revolutionary anti-colonialism, being raised by communists, raised by leftists. All his life he's been groomed to overthrow this entire system, and that would include the genocide of people that disagree. So um, what else would, are you going to do? Sing kumbaya in your churches when they, while well, they bring, you know, when the, when the truck pulls up and uh, the Gatling gun goes and, or they burn you down. I mean, what, if you knew ahead of time what Adolf Hitler would be, are you just going to sit there passively and do nothing? That's not Christ at all. There's a chance now to do something before it gets to the point of violence. But the way we're headed is toward complete violence in America. And just remember this. The government's already corrupted. Anyone who's violent, uh, but they're, they're from Occupy Wall Street or an Obama supporter, or says inflammatory things online, like one guy said the other day, well, in our revolution, we're going to have to kill a few cops just to make it serious. So he said something like this, or tweeted it, and um, there's no prosecution of it because he was from Occupy Wall Street. If somebody from the con a conservative said that, or a God-fearing person, or a Christian said that, they would be um, detained indefinitely. Okay, so that shows you what side your government has already been bought and paid for. I'm not saying this could even be won. I think we're being called to battle even if we lose. The right thing to do is do whatever we can do to defeat this man. That There's nothing else really going on. That's all that's important. There is nothing else that's important because life will not go on if, if it continues. So there's nothing else. That's the calling. That's church. That's uh, the, uh, the answer to all the prayers. Well, then get up and, and fight. Right now it's about an election. Uh, YouTube's documentary, anything you can do. What, however you interpret that, just ask the Lord to lead you. But I mean, this is, a, this is a fight against the Antichrist forces that are against Jesus and against God. That's why God's calling us to fight, because ultimately this fight is about getting rid of God. All right, that's all I'm going to say.